toasterie. I want to live to be 93. I play safe for you and me, cause I'm no fool. As I said to Pinocchio, Pinocchio, there's two ways to do anything, the right way and the wrong way. If you want to be right, do things the right way. Because if you do things the wrong way, that's the foolish way. And only fools do things the foolish way, which is the wrong way, right? Anyway, let's see, where was I? Anyone can be a fool and do things which are wrong. But fools find out when it's too late that they don't live so long. Oh, I'm no fool, no siree. I want to live to be 93. I play safe for you and me, cause I'm no fool. Now let's quit fooling around and get to the point. Here we are, electricity. You know electricity works hard for you, so don't you take electricity lightly. You should know all about it. Hi, Father. What are you doing? Making a table, my boy, and I've just about got it done. Ouch! Father, what happened? I got a shock from the electricity in this drill, Pinocchio. Electricity? What's that? It's a form of energy, and it's very powerful. That little shock was a reminder that I have to respect that power and be very careful around electricity. But what does electricity do, Father? Oh, my, so many things. We use electricity so much every day, we sometimes forget to think about it. But we should think about it. Even though electricity is a wonderful thing, it can be very dangerous. And now that you're a real boy, Pinocchio, it's high time you thought about it, too. Okay, Father. Now, as I said, electricity is such a big part of our lives that sometimes we take it for granted. Just imagine everything electricity does for you. Why, it toasts your bread, dries your hair, keeps your food cold, Tells you the time. Makes the phone work. And the TV! Right, Pinocchio. Electricity runs traffic signals, computers, vacuum cleaners, radios and tools, like my drill here. It runs thousands and thousands of things that make our lives easier and so much more enjoyable. Wow! It's around us everywhere. But where does the electricity come from, Father? Well, it can come from nature. Lightning is a natural form of electricity, but we can make electricity, too. We can? Yes. We can make it in places called power plants, where a big machine called a generator makes or generates electricity. Then that electricity travels over wires to places called substations. And from the substation, the electricity is directed out over more wires to wherever it's needed. For example, to hospitals. To office buildings. To schools. To stores. street lamps and traffic signals. And to our neighborhoods. And then into our homes. Where there are more wires that carry the electric energy or electricity right to the things we use every day. Like this lamp. But because electricity is so powerful, it can be dangerous, so you must be very careful around it. But how can I be careful around electricity? By following a few very important rules. Let's talk about them, with the help of our friends here, Lisa and her brother Adam. 
The first thing we should talk about is the outlet. What's an outlet? That, my boy, is the place where you plug in things like lamps or radios to get to the electricity. The powerful electric energy that has traveled over wires all the way to your home comes into the outlets, so you must be very careful around them. And if you see younger children playing near or with an outlet, get them away from it. Don't let them put anything into an outlet, because they could get shocked or burned by the electricity there. I'll be sure to watch when there are babies around. Good boy. Oh, and sockets. A socket is where you put the light bulb, and it's just like an outlet. There's electricity there too, so you must also be careful with it. Now for those who are old enough to plug things in, like Lisa here, there are a few important things to remember about plugs. First, don't force a plug into the outlet if it won't go in easily. The plug may be damaged, or there may be something wrong with the outlet. Either way, if you try to force the plug in, you could get a shock, or sparks could come out, and that might cause a fire. So, Pinocchio, if the plug does not go in easily... Don't force it! Right! And don't put too many plugs into one outlet. The wires in there can't handle all the plugs, and they could start to burn. That could cause a fire, right, Father? Yes, son, it could. Now, when you're finished using something electrical, be sure to turn it off. And when you go to unplug it, be sure to pull the plug itself. Do what Lisa is doing. That's the safe way. Never pull on the cord to unplug something, because you could break the cord or the plug. Now, Pinocchio, you saw how Lisa plugged in the lamp before? Well, remember, when you plug something into an outlet, the electricity comes out of the outlet and goes along the wire inside the lamp cord. And because there's electricity inside the cord, you have to be very careful with the cord itself. Now, babies and animals, like your dog or cat, don't know that. And sometimes they like to chew on cords, so don't let them. That is very, very dangerous. They could bite right into the wires and get badly hurt by the electricity. Also, don't put cords where people could trip over them. That could cause damage to the cord, as well as hurt someone. And be very careful not to put a cord near anything hot. Heat could melt the cord's cover, and then the wires carrying the electricity will no longer be covered, which means they could give you a shock, or touch some object and maybe cause a fire. But Father, how come that powerful electricity doesn't burn up the cord? If it can shock or burn me, or the house, why doesn't it do that to the cord? Aha, that, my boy, is an excellent question and leads me to my next point. You see, Pinocchio, electricity travels easily through some things, but not so easily through others. For instance, it travels easily through metal, which is what wires are made of. And it will travel through water. Or any living thing, like this plant or a tree, or an animal, and even people. People? Yes. Remember how I got a shock from the drill? That was electricity traveling through me. Now, anything that electricity can travel through or over is called a conductor. Then I'm a conductor. Yes, son, that is right. But there are some things that electricity cannot travel through, like glass or plastic wax, or rubber. These things are called insulators because they insulate or cover the electricity and protect people from getting a shock from it. That is why wires are covered with rubber or plastic, so you can hold a cord in your hand and not get hurt or burnt by the powerful electricity inside. And that's why you don't want the cord to get damaged or broken. Because if you damage the cover or insulator, then you could touch the electricity inside. And that would be very dangerous. Yes, that's right, son. Now, Pinocchio, do you remember what we said about water? Yes, father. Water is a conductor of electricity. It travels through water. 
Very good, my boy. And why should you keep anything that has to do with electricity away from water? Because if I touch the water, the electricity could travel through it to me. Correct, my boy. So with that in mind, never touch anything electrical. Not its cord, not any part of it, if you are wet. Even a small amount of water on your hands is enough for electricity to travel through you. So do as Adam is doing. If your hands are wet and you want to touch something electrical, dry them off first. And don't touch or use anything electrical if you're even near water or something wet. For example, don't use a radio near a sink. Or take anything electrical into the shower or bathtub. Because the electricity can travel through the water and into you. That's right, Pinocchio. Now, son, you should also know that electricity is found not only inside the house, but outside, too. So let's talk about electrical safety outdoors. Okay, Father, I'm ready. Now, the first thing to remember when you're outdoors is to look for sources of electricity around you and above you. Ask yourself, am I near anything that has to do with electricity? Am I near any power lines like these here? If so, don't play near them, because electricity is traveling over those wires all the time. Are you near a tree that's close to electric wires, or worse, a tree that is growing through the wires? Never climb those trees or play near them. That could be dangerous. Do you know what this sign says, son? Yes, father. It says danger high voltage. But what does that mean? Whenever you see this sign, it means that very powerful electricity is there. So you shouldn't be. And remember, too, that power lines can fall, and sometimes do, especially during a windy storm. So if you see some fallen power lines, don't go near them and keep others away, too. Why, Pinocchio? Because they carry a lot of electricity. And if I touch them, I could get very hurt. Yes. Now, you like flying kites, right, Pinocchio? Yes, I do, Father. And I like those silver balloons, too. Well, I hope you know never to fly them near power lines. Because if they hit the lines, they could give you a shock or catch fire or even knock out the electric power. Wow! Yes, you could get seriously hurt and do a lot of damage. So you see, you have a responsibility not just to yourself, but also to others to follow the rules. And if your kite accidentally does end up in wires or in a tree near wires, don't try to get it down by yourself. Get an adult to call the power company to get it down for you. Also, it's very important not to be under a tree or to go swimming in a lightning storm. Remember, any living thing is a conductor of electricity. Yikes! No matter where you are, it's a good idea to look and see if you're near anything electrical and if it's safe. I will, Father. Very good. Well, son, you've certainly learned a lot about safety with electricity today. I sure have. I learned that electricity is energy, and it's powerful and dangerous, so you have to be very careful around it. And I learned that you shouldn't put too many plugs into an outlet. Or put cords in places where they could get damaged, and then the electricity and the wires wouldn't be covered. And when you unplug something, never pull on the cord, pull out the plug. Know that it is very important to keep electricity away from water. And when you play outside, make sure you're not near any power lines because they are very dangerous. Very good, Pinocchio. You have really learned a lot about safety with electricity. Yes, Father, I have. I know that it does wonderful things for us, but we also have to respect its power. <laughs> right you are, my boy. Right you are. 
You're no fool, no siree. You're gonna live to be 103. You play safe for you and me, cause you're no fool.